One of the most important steps to trading price action profitably is your ability to identify and follow the trend. The reason why this is important is because as retail traders, we don't trade with enough capital to make a dent in the market. So we rely on the big institutions, the commercial traders, right? The banks to pour in the liquidity and we essentially just follow uh, your steps, right? And that's what we call trading with the trend. You're trading with the big boys, you're trading with the institution. When you come into the market with a particular strategy, whether it's a, a breakout strategy, a support resistance or supply and demand, based strategy, the core aspect of that strategy will still be dependent on your ability to identify the trend. So a lot of the time, what I noticed with a lot of traders and even myself when I first started trading is I was trading the right strategy in the wrong market. And that is one way to, you know, miss out on high probability setup, you know, create a lot of exposure on your trading account with, you know, multiple losses. It is extremely important that we understand how to identify and follow the trend. And in this video, I'm going to be diving into some of the core rules that will allow you to do that profitably. The very first thing as we take a look at the chart right now is we're on the five minute time frame on USD Japanese yen. The very first rule is you never want to start off on your execution time frame. You want to start off on the big picture time frame. You always want to have a big picture time frame, a time frame where you are collecting, you know, the data, you're seeing the big move, you're you're essentially standing at the peak of the mountain and you can gain an entire view of your entire surrounding and that's very difficult to do on you know the lower time frame if we're taking a look at the five minute time frame right now what you might say is wow price is moving lower so you should be a seller right price is moving down big strong bearish move and then you know we'll continue to move lower as you scale over to the higher time frame this is the daily time frame what we can start to see is something a little bit different and your higher time frame or your big picture time frame which can be the daily or the weekly or even the monthly i prefer the daily and the weekly weekly but today we're just gonna keep it the daily but you can also use the weekly time frame as well as we take a look at the daily time frame what we see here is that price is moving you know higher so as we see that price has been trending up quite significantly what this tells me is that the trend is up and it is still in our best interest as retail traders to buy what you want to do after you've identified the trend on the big picture time frame is you want to scale down to the lower time frame the one hour or the four hour time frame now what is what's going to be important here is to focus on the little detail and the little detail is what i call market structure and market structure ladies and gentlemen is actually not a little detail it's pretty significant when it comes to being able to identify the trend because when buyers are in the market the trend is up what is happening is price is making high highs and high lows the buyers are targeting the highs when sellers are coming into the market price is making lower lows and lower highs sellers are targeting the lows this is the signifying factor of a buyer's market an uptrend and this is a signifying factor of a downtrend as we take a look at the one hour time frame here, you know, what we've identified on the daily time frame is that price is moving higher. The trend is up. So now just because we say the trend is up doesn't mean that we can still just buy. We have to wait for the right opportunity because sometimes even when the trend is up, you will still have bearish market conditions on the lower time frame and you have to wait for that to change in order for you to buy now as we take a look at the one hour time frame what we see here is that price is moving lower but the little detail comes from a market structure standpoint because once buyers start to take out the high that tells you that hey you know the trend is about to change on the lower time frame and it's likely going to match what we see on the daily time frame so that's what we see right now on the one hour time frame. As you start to look at the market and you start to understand that when buyers take out the high, what likely happens is a continuation to the upside. The desire to sell, which we initially had just from looking at the five minute time frame, starts to change, right? Because now you're gaining the big picture. You're being you're able now to see the whole thing. On the one hour time frame, we notice that price is taking out the high 
right? This high and there's a possibility or there's a high probability that price is likely going to continue moving lower. So we move over to our execution time frame, whether it's the five minute or whether it's the 15 minute time frame. So now what we see here is that okay you know price is still maintaining that selling pressure right making lower lows and lower highs but oh wait what happened here right we took out this high that tells you that okay well rather than still buying there is also a possibility for price to continue its move higher because we've taken out the high when buyers come into the market they target the highs the highs become the main area of focus when sellers come into the market they take out the lows, right? The lows become the main area of focus. So today, since we've identified that the trend is bullish, right? And the trend is moving higher, it means that the highest probability for us to place our trade is to the upside. So as we take a look at the market right now, it is about 8.30 on the 15 minute time frame. We see price making lo moving lower. Some traders are selling and wow, price is moving, moving well, moving well, moving well and then all of a sudden that happens. This is where the patient traders, the one who have seen the big picture move on the daily time frame, scale down to the one hour time frame, are now coming in to now put your capital at risk, you know, with a long position. You know, we can say 30 peps, put it right below this candle, 34 peps, and look to target our high there, whether we wanna aim big, or, you know, we could even aim for something like this. This would still be you know, could go for a nice three to one trade and see how price, you know, what the market does for us in this case. Essentially, price moves in our favor. This is what happens when you're able to identify the trend. And sometimes, you know, it might not match on the different time frames, but if you understand where price is likely going to be going on the higher time frame, you can patiently wait for the right opportunity on the lower time frame. And that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it insightful. Till next time, hope you're out there living free. Cheers.